you in the most volatile group we've had so far at Pro League, and we're into the pistol. Oh, straight over towards ramp. Brolin's going to be tested here very, very early. Chasing him down. They push him back. The 1x bet odds here favoring the mouse. And they just keep on coming. Brolin pinned. Brolin down. And Acor gets the opening kill of map number two. What do you do now, Fnatic? You're locked out, staring at smokes. The doors swing open, but the heads roll. And it's the same case for Messi as well. Frozen was a big component of the Mirage successes. He was finding some impact. And I think our analyst desk, as well as, of course, my color commentator, have been discussing just how relevant Frozen's going to have to be for Mouse Wars if they want to get themselves out of Group C. Yeah, I think uh, Peter, everyone's favorite stats guy over at HLTV, uh, put out a bit of a tweet regarding that. And this one here is just going to fall away. There is absolutely no hope for Crimson, a one on five with a lower retake and no diffuse kit strapped to his belt right here, right now. Bomb over halfway ticked. And he's looking to go down with the ship here, just Oi. taking a couple of crispy heads. That's some extra cash he can work with going into round number two. And if he gets away with his armor, he's going to be smiling here to ear. Crims will survive. So not too shabby, all things considered, making the best of a bad situation there. Now, we're talking about the inconsistency of Frozen. And uh, I think uh, Petter here is kind of offering up a, a counter-conversation to that. Okay. He said, me. about Frozen's inconsistency, Mouseports have an 18 to 11 map record over EPL, Cologne, and Flashpoint. And in those 18 wins, these were their highest rated players. Frozen, 10 times. Rops, four times. Dexter, two times. Beamus, one time. Acor, one time. So wow. in the new iteration of Mouseports, right, Frozen, right, this is, this is the conversation, right? Before, was he more inconsistent? Are we are we still remembering that version of Frozen? You know, are we not putting it under the microscope of, of this this little sample size that Peter has here? I think more important, more interesting out of those stats you just regurgitated is that Frozen was in the double digits in terms of being your highest performer in your victories. And mm. Rop's Amiga 4. I mean, I'd have, I'd have hazarded a guess that they'd be quite evenly distributed. Well, that's one of the things, right, with, uh, with Rop's and the way that he approaches the game. We have seen him get more aggressive, right, in, in recent times. Now, whether that's just on the CT side, whether that's you need to put it under a microscope, right? You need to you need to be looking at all those little bits and bobs. Yeah, and something that Rops has always been very good at is finding space on that T side of Nuke. You know, you, we, we see those flash plays through that lurky smoke squeak. Something Mouse do very well. At the moment, Rops has been very passive. Losing these second rounds, it just seems to be a up par for the course in Counter-Strike as it currently stands. It's very difficult. It's like the CTs throw a curveball or two, and one is just appearing right now in front of Frozen. Oh, is he going to get both? He heard the footsteps, cleans up the second. That's lovely. Uh, okay, oh. well burnt down. That's that's okay, it's just Acor. Oh, it could have gone so badly there. Crims had two heads on his plate. And Brolin just tiring his flank to perfection. It will be cleared. And he does manage to chunk away at Rops. Three bullets to the belly. He'd love the rifle. Yeah, get out of there if you can. If he can actually get away with this, it's better than nothing. It's the same with Crims on the pistol. You know, the, the round is done. <laughs> it's definitely not going to be a Fnatic win, but uh, at least he can hold on to this. I don't think Frozen's going to allow it. If he goes past the magical line drawn in the sand tier, Frozen, he should be able to find Brolin and his 12 HP. Ooh. Ooh. And he oh. slipped the net. So. Brolin should be safe. He should be all good. You don't want to lose anything else. If you're mouse sports, you've already given up two deaths. Just hold on to your goodies. Throw number two in your back pocket and move forward into a round that will just be one Deagle, a Galil, and then maybe, just maybe, if Fnatic want to get to some P250s or something a little bit naughty. That's about it for their defense for round number three. But yesterday, mouse sports, when they played against EG on this map, they only managed five rounds on their T half. It was their CT side where they really laid down the law against the American European mix. So let's see if they can better that T side scoreline today or go for par for the course. We can kind of use that as an indication, right? Yeah. We, can, we can definitely have a look in there. Now, Fnatic have played this map twice. Uh, they had the overtime affair that they were able to pick up, which was, uh, I think it was a double OT game, actually. So they've already been through their paces a little bit on Nuke. Yeah, so we get the smokes landing towards Yard. Now, there is a flash on Alex for Brolin here. Here we go. Flashed off and they know where he is. Isolating the jewel, but frozen. He's had his cereal this morning. And Brolin's save rifle has nothing left. Uh, neither do the poor topside defenders. Usp versus a bouncy Mac 10. We know how that story ends. Wouldn't this become something, right? If
Frozen does become... Because he was a name, and you're going to have to go back a couple of years, but he was one of these names that was seen as a, a young up-and-coming prospect. He's still quite young. I'll need to get his exact age. I don't feel like he could be older than maybe 19 for yeah, Frozen. Yeah, may, I mean, 20th maybe coming up next year. Yeah, we, we, uh, 19. So, right, we, he's, he's aged on our screens, yeah. right? Same as Rops did, right? Same as what Beamus Well, these, are, these, these youngsters, they eventually become one of these stars. Now, Frozen, if he can be a consistent, consistent rifling presence in this team with Rops, now, I, I don't know how much people know about the Rops conversation. You know, it's curious to see where he's... Rops is a one-of-a-kind type player who is right now, I think a lot of people would argue, in a team that he, he could be in a better team, right? Rops would be a perfect fit on, on FaZe if they wanted to replace one of their members, you know. He, he could definitely get upgraded into one of these more star-studded rosters. So uh, it's curious. If Rops does end up departing this team at some point, someone's going to have to feel that. And if Frozen is already putting down these performances, maybe he'll be the man who yeah. will do exactly that. It's just funny when you talk about... Uh... Phase clan just thinking of the, the, how scary a twists one rifle and then you throw a rops on the other side Ooh, with brokey yeah starting to look pretty tidy over there look at the aggression out of mezzi first gun round and he's gone for a very early push of the hut now this could lead to a bit of a surprise and it's actually mezzi that goes down on that crims was there to try and support but it's cost him his life and a lot of pressure from the lobby hold of mao is that could lead Fnatic into a bit of a dire strait because they've been so focused on that and kept honest with that that Jaquino's orb responsible for this rotate. He'll be calling for help when he needs it. Oh, jiggled. Just fell into the trap of the shoulder peak. Alex has pulled them back into contention, though, with a man advantage. And Util destined for Jaquino. But they call a cancel, and he has that info immediately. That's cool. a lot of information for Fnatic. Yeah, hard round now. But... Seeing the AWP is under, they can operate in Yard with a few more liberties, right? Knowing that that big scoped green is not locking them down. However, Alex and Brolin with their orgs, maybe combined, they can give you that presence. Oh, well, he gets information at the very least, and Brolin's in a prime position to at least catch them on the walk-in. Gets the first, multiple targets. Flash looks promising, but swings out early. Time's a problem now. Mouse Sports 2v3. It's shaping up a bit more competitive than it was initially, but Jaquino, nice rotation, has found his first on the AWP. Should be the save call now from Boomers, I think. It, unless he wants to look for an extra kill or two and do some damage, that is probably the best he can hope for. 11 seconds would need to start running right now. Uh, he's not going to get the plant if he... He's not going to get the plant. No ifs or buts about it here. So, Fnatic, first gun round. They get on the board and do so pretty tidily, even with a miss here or there. The lobby aggression punished, but they were able to, to fight. We didn't see the kill, but I think the kill must have come through uh, as they're trying to lurk down the vent. Because if they get that vent control, then they can apply so much pressure to Jackinho on that lower side. Oh. No, it's a re-aggression on the hut and a different member. That's just annoying. <laughs> That's just annoying right there. So while they're working on their yard foray, Fnatic are taking back that lobby space. Standard stuff, and here we go again. Guns back out, AWP for Acorp. Yeah, they're going to contest yard. It looks like Jaquino wants to have a look with his AWP on that red container peak, and it's Molotov doubt. They'll have heard it. They're ready for you. Oh, Jaquino's in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble, and yeah, caught out. Frozen will... Execute him with nothing to contribute. Acor with the miss, and it results in his demise. Youch. That's going to leave a mark. Suddenly, a advantage becomes a disadvantage for Mouse. They had it in the palm of their hands. Orp recovered now. Going to try and ply his trade as Dexter recovers Acor's big green. They're rotating in through secret. It's going to be really threatening as well from Mezzi. Yeah, they could lock down Yard here. Hold up. The Brit doesn't need help. He's got it himself. Alex just ripping heads off. Only two more to find right now. This one has gone very, very flat. Mezzi might seal the deal right here. Okay, that's a lifeline. A minute on the clock. Something to work with for Mouse Sports. Yeah, I guess Alex has got to do it all. Good clear. Another body. Oh, we'll take the ace. Great work from the Brit. Fnatic, their second. And a recovery. That's two 4v5 recoveries. Like, Fnatic have conceded the opening death twice. And that's twice that Alex and Fnatic have recovered. Good stuff. Yeah, really good stuff right there from Alex. That's, uh, that's what we call the replay on... I'm trying to think. You remember the spider webs where they gave all the spiders different drugs? Yes, yeah. yeah. That was a classic. Yeah, on some form of drugs, the replay right there. We speed them up, we slow them down, we do them in reverse. 
And we take a little bit of a gander here at what Acor's scout can provide because Mouse Sports have been pushed back down towards these pistols. It is just a half investment. Guns will be able to come out in the next. And you can see Alex working on a whole new avenue. This time, he's going secret. Didn't work for Mezzi. Oh, it might not work for Alex. Yeah, that's more than he bargained for. I've seen enough. Yep. Call that done. Well, they have to worry about him. And they're actually going to press the issue here. So gap in the smoke. Jaquinho hits a nice shot on the cross. Yeah, he's confirmed multiple bodies across as well. So he knows it's not just smoke and mirrors. And a smoke of their own design arrives at the 72nd mark. So that will shave some time off and really kind of dampen the control. That's what we're hoping to garner. Yeah, if you have these pistols, you're hoping to get away with a lot of room and now just playing in the oh, smoke. he's walked Ooh. through. That's nice from Frozen. Great hello, angle management. Hello. Great angle management. Slip the net. Alex will tap ahead, but there's a gap now. And Mouse was they'd love a plant, right? You've got a smoke. You've got the bomb on the back of Dexter. It's Alex's mission to deny such. <sighs> you kind of feel a bit bad for Frozen. He got passed and because his teammate went down, it forced Alex into a more passive stance anyway. So Frozen's little space taking maneuver will be denied. Jaquinho's orb strikes again. And this one here falls flat for the partial investment of Mouse. Just Acor and his scout. AD, AD. And it's Alex again. Lots of multi-kills back-to-back. Eight kills in two rounds from the in-game leader of Fnatic. And we'll see how they transpired as well. Catching another one on this red container line. That was actually from the previous round. We were talking about it before. So you get to see that aforementioned ace as we have a multi-kill master in Alex two rounds back-to-back. The org is back, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing, right? I, I think that the org allows you to play certain positions a little bit more aggressively against the AKs, just because of that scope nature. The M4, yeah, sure, there's some crispy aim boys out there, but this kind of levels the field a little bit more so. First time I've seen such a quiet series out of Mezzi. So far, kept very honest. They're coming again. Rops is ready. Three different targets. They're baiting him with barrels, but he doesn't care. And Rops will hold first. And maybe even continue into the top site. Wow, he's trying to do a lot on his own here. Bit of a solo project. Might get cleared here if they jump apart. Oh, spotted. Another one for Robs. That's two in the round. Oh, finally. Oh, and Vizikino overwhelmed. He'll call for backup, call for aid. The low site lost. Vents rotate cut off. And I don't know if they fancy their chances here. The bomb's going to be planted nice and safe. Ramp from Alex. He might be able to catch one on the way out. Nate's not bad. Not bad at all. But Acor posting up, peeking actually through the smoke of that HE, leaves Krim saving his M4. Okay, well, back and forth we go. So Mouse Sports are going to retain this lead here just by one. But that there, and we need to really tunnel in on Fnatic's response. So as soon as they heard the mollies, the smokes, the flashes, everything towards that yard position, it's clicked. They, they, their prep work is let's take Lobby off of them. Like, let's really punish them. Let's see if we can get a kill here, remove that late round little thorn in our side and then be able to rotate to lower while they get stalled out. But if Rops does that, gets a kill, they were in the blind spot. They didn't completely clear, right? The Hut guys pushed out. They kind of cleared. It was the ramp guy's responsibility. He wasn't able to get the kill necessary. And then the fact he gets a second, well, at that point, you're really, really down a creek without a paddle. Yeah, I mean, like, Rops, the fact he's awareness, he just knows there's multiple CTs pushing on his location and to take another pushing out aggressive, even took a chunk out of Alex's hunt as well. Oh, he had no armor. That's why that nade hurt as much as it did. So a good catch, stopping Acor before things got a little out of control. That's the thing for Rops in that position as well. Consider that, like, you have to hold, so you want to focus on your crosshair, but you need to also calm how many people are pushing you, right? So, not an easy one, but here's Alex, back again. Yeah, he likes this aggressive maneuver. And just hoping and praying. Ooh, oh, there's so much sound. They're just galloping. Timing. This flanking could be perfect. Alex McMeekin with one. The bomb lost. That's the perfect frag to find. They have to retrieve it, and he just evaporates, disappears. Crim's lost elsewhere down the vents. Ramp is still under Fnatic control, but they've lost Rops down into the lower site. Wait, they can pick up the bomb right now. Nobody's watching it. If Acor grabs this and they still head towards lower with Rops, he has that vent rotation, or at least he did. Yeah, you'd think they want to actively get Ramp. Oh, they shouldn't huh? go B now. The fact that Rops left the vent has given Alex a chance to establish control towards oh. the lower side. Oh, but he's expecting them to be too far pushed up. He's not ready for reactions, and Rops will Look find the wrong him. Way. Yeah, completely booked. Where do they want to go with this? Brolin, important duel to win. Slams the door closed, and perhaps even the opportunity for Mouse Sports to string together too oh, here. Great, Molly. Love the incendiary. We'll keep him at bay. About half of the smoke's delay. About seven seconds left on the 
obscured site, but he's playing around it, in front of it. Oh, they have to clear. Bemis is the next victim of the Brolin Org. And Acorn left wanting. With 30 seconds, he'd have a real hard time getting that bomb down. Brolin confirms it. Handled there, and it looked for a moment like maybe it got out of control, right? You could you could see Alex just slink on in, and you're right. I, I guess when he goes down and he clears Deacon, he's thinking, well, they, they, they have to be passed, right? I didn't stall them out for that long with the one kill, but he did. And that was Alex open and shut case there towards Yard. You're right about by like this. You have to have faith in your game plan and the fact that Acorn needs an AWP for that. Because otherwise, like, why not risk it with like three rifles, couple pistols? So they think that they need all those smokes and flashes. Makes sense on a map like Nuke, right? You know how much utility is required to get you across to Secret and to all those different smoke walls. Yeah, and their outside hold for this round is going to be Alex in that secret stair. Ooh, so if he feeds the looking. beast, if he puts his head in that scout... He's coming. He's got in a boosted position as well, so Alex might be caught out by the extra elevation. Oh, okay. Little silent silent there, Alex didn't like. Yeah, something put him off. Hoodoo voodoo. Now, Chikino, he can be peaked by the Acor scout, but it's all for scout. He's holding a very passive line, just enough to basically be the early warning system for a descent to the secret stairs. Has to be a headshot, doesn't it? It does. Oh, Alex is coming back. He might timing. catch them off guard here. Yeah, Look really. at this run boost as well. They're going to do top of red. Really, <laughs> they didn't really. get it off. Perfect timing on Alex's arrival. And that's the end of Chikino's orb. Damn, great contribution out of Acor. Look at the space. Dex exactly what they wanted. He's real quick on this. If they deal with Mezzi, top heaven. Oh, oh he's got another one. Brolin's ramp rotate's been cut down as well. And now Dexter, he... Charging his team towards Alex's lower ramp. Mezzi does contribute as well. But Alex, he hears all of this. Mezzi reacts accordingly as well. They're making this one costly, Maus. It shouldn't be much more. Fnatic have to handle this. Yeah, the time now. If they kill Alex, they can plant, but that's a big if. Yeah, and what? You're going to use the AWP as the entry? Fragged Dex has done very well to find two. Never mind the first on that AWP. Oh, they're not even clearing their corners here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alex has missed his shots and Beamer strikes. With a couple of seconds, they just need to That's enough. Survive! All you have to do is survive! I think the bomb might go down! Is there time? Down. Is there time? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Holy moly! These two teams! Fnatic have been given a little bit of an intervention from a higher power, though, because, good God, it's extra second on that, and they're losing to an uninvested mouse. They were just scrambling there to deny Yikes. that plan. Yeah, imagine if the bomb was going down behind the side, they swing open the door, and they can't deny it whatsoever. Okay, well, that one got close. It was very, very little investment there from Mouse Sports. Oh. Some nice shots. Some... Let me see this one. So Brolin, was he just rotating through? Oh, he's still oh, at the back there. Oh, okay. So Dexter really caught them off guard with that pace right there. They're both there at the door as well. Really could have gone Good scramble. Awry. Okay. Well, Mouseports have them right where they want him here. They can break this CT bank right here, right now. And this is what they were oh, waiting for, oh, Chad. This he is might what get both. He for. might get both. They're lining up nades. Alex. Oh, he hasn't been able to find anything. And now he's being hunted down. But Jakino's AWP is enough to defend him. Solid contributions again from the Swede. He knows another hard shot to hit. Just the tip of the dome of Dexter spotted on the silo. But call it quits. They've already lost two players. Oh, I feel like there's a bit of prep work that's gone into Fnatic CT side here. It's like Alex knew exactly where to look for those nades being set up. So he could have had a juicy, juicy double. Regardless, we have the same outcome here as the smokes will be limped out late. Just trying to give Frozen some room to work with something to sink his teeth into. Let's see how the Mouse Sports squad recover from this. I mean, a two-man disadvantage. You're going to have to do something as a unit with what little remains of your unit. Dexter still yard with Frozen. Dropping some util to set him up for success. They do seem to like this gap. Oh, and Chikino just left heaven completely. <gasps> Gap wide open for Frozen to take and not seize the opportunity here. Time is going to become an issue, right? 30 seconds. He needs to whip no one's two heads looking. off real quick. How is this constantly a gap? Crim's checking Wait, it he passively. Might even get three. He might even get three oh, here. Oh, my lord. Chikino's on the side as well. Oh, oh Mezzi checks it. Another one where Fnatic are saved by the bell. It's four from Giacchino. Don't let that go unnoticed. The glass cannon orb dismantles Maus. Just thought it was way too quiet, didn't they? Something was up. That's a couple times here. Like, Alex not poking his head up secret yeah. when he could have gone down to a scout. This time, just the pivot late to heaven. They're bailing them out of a sticky situation they didn't even know they were in. Great orbing here from Giacchino. Keeping up that form four for him. Yeah, and I'm returning to uh, Nuke as well, a map where he did get have his worst performance of the Pro League group so far. So it was great to see him rebounding back, demonstrating it's not the map itself, just 
a bit of a write-off performance. And we return to Mouse Sports on the light buy. I mean, don't forget, Chad, the, the round we just witnessed, the Jakino 4K, Mouse Sports bided their time financially to put their best foot forward with that T side off. And it was the first death, just popped his head off the silo. Brolin looks like he's going to be tested for at least a couple here. Conservative stuff out of Brolin. Very. Takes a shot and falls. Jakino establishes the line in the sand. If he gets jumped on, if Dexter draws his crosshair away, oh, he still hits the shot. And Brolin, problem solved. Frozen, they know he was there. He was the last one to hit the shot. The only one to hit the shot. And Brolin will collect solid handling for, for the Swede on his ramp defense against that light buy. But we will get mouse bots back into the fray with the, all the bells and whistles they can desire. Jackino back on his AWP. And three scope rifles again for Fnatic. They love themselves the org. Alex has demonstrated. Brolin has as well. Crim's just a bit of the old guard. Yeah, well, the AK, you know, you take that any day of the week. No, I, mean, I just mean boy. you won't see Crim's on an orb. Oh, he doesn't use saying. it? I haven't seen him. He doesn't really. like no, it? No, I mean, okay. when you've probably been the very best in the world with the M4 for a couple of years, you've probably got a bit more confidence behind it. A bit cheaper, too. Maybe he's yeah. a penny pincher. <laughs> you never know. Doesn't want to break the bank. Don't know. Tattoos are quite expensive, aren't they? He's not a penny pincher. Yeah, you're right. Got a couple of those. It's good seeing him do some more interviews and stuff. Oh, yeah, and in English, no less. He was always just kind of happy to let the other personalities of Fnatic do it. thing is, he was like part of the, the Funny Boy crew with Flusher and JW. Oh, like, yeah. I heard that those three got along quite well, so you can tell that they'd be funny lads, you know, having a bit of a troll here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, make no mistake, when someone is, you know, soft-spoken or quiet, doesn't always necessarily mean... It just means they're more selective about who they share their character with. Oh. Well, L block smokes have garnered control of warehouse here. Yeah. Frozen and Beamus are across. And if they do the run boost, right, they can get across that door without being spotted. But it isn't too many worries here. This is the gap that Dexter seems convinced. Here's the run boost I was talking about. Whee! So then across, Beamus can now pick at, in tandem with Frozen and give him an angle that maybe Alex wasn't ready for. This is the gap. Alex is going to keep taking little jiggles, but Mouse would have been... <laughs> Profiting from it, or at least threatening from it. Rob's still holding his lobby, but Bemis perhaps going to go unchecked. Time again is a big problem, isn't it? It is. They're tickling the toes of Mezzi. Jumps up into the Dexter AK, and now the setup on top is being checked. Dexter kept honest. Rob's trades. Crims with nothing to report, and this is a mouse sports take. Running that clock down. Giacchino, the bomb he's loose. playing games here. He hits the first. Had time to play with and profit from. He uh, hit the second. Yeah. The bomb had to get planted. And he would have had an opportunity to at least be a threat, yeah. right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mouse spots here really running the clock down in a lot of these scenarios. It's about time one of them went their way, though, considering yeah. how close some of the Fnatic wins have been. So watch this. Bomb lose. 10 seconds. Yeah. If he hits Rops. Yeah. Does the bomb get planted? It would have been close. Oy. Yeah, probably goes. To, well, actually, he could have contested. I think he would have had to have planted front sight in, yeah. the, in the rush. And then Jackino could have attacked him in that moment. All right. Yeah. Open for interpretation. Oh, Alex, just constantly doing something different. This is ridiculous. What are you up to? He's walking Lost through in the all of the yard smokes. I think he'll have to accept defeat. Ooh. Still up to his usual antics and... They're still trying to find him. That's the Orpa and the bomb oh, again. Oh, not this again. No, and as the, as the smokes have faded, the bomb is lost. They can no longer cross. The smoke dancer. Ouch. Well, that's uh, a bit of peppering right there. Can't believe how willing he is to commit to the fight. Rob's obviously looking for a return. Wants to pull it back into a even 4v4. The bomb is still loose in yards, so at some point they will have to pick this up. They've just been stalled out again here, Mouse. Yeah, so they'd actually just let them have yard and stack the top site. Kind of cool. Crims, they're walking up on him and... Oh, he's got the scope rifle. He spots out the barrel of Frozen. More targets to find, though. It's Dexter's flank that does it all. Round winning from Dexter again. And take a look at the scores. You know, he's hanging with the big boys on Mirage. He's doing the same here on Nuke. It has to be a save here from Fnatic as well, doesn't it? They don't really have enough money to invest in going for a round like this.
What's your, your take on when, when the bomb, you know, like in the same way that they did it before, when the bombs lost on Acor, they kind of just let them have it instead of contesting and, and making them fight for that yard bomb? Well, you could see just how much time they bled off the clock. They're just trying to pick that back up, right? And one of the things here is Mezzi probably going to get hunted here if Rops clears his corner. But one of the things... Oh, oh, there you go. That happens if you play the bomb is you are giving up a lot of space to play the bomb. And if you do that early in the round, think about how many new positions you have to worry for and account for, right? So you need to have like an iron clad defense of that bomb, or it needs to fall in a position where it's like, let's imagine if the bomb drops in cave on ancient. Yeah. All right, boys, there's two choke points. It's late in the round, they don't have any util, great. But imagine if that was early in the round, they had mollies, you can't all just go in cave, right? So it's, it's gonna be situational, but because Alex gets away with that so early, and we saw what it forced. Their plan was to get down secret. Well, they didn't get down secret, right? They actually had to go back through. So you, you can you can make arguments for it either way. If you had an AWPer out there, Jaquinho only had a scout. Solid T-Hall though from Mouse, and they can do a whole lot better now up against the formality of round 14. There's absolutely nothing that should be threatening. The saved scout, we just witnessed Jaquinho keeping hold of that. So in Counter-Strike, you can never act too surprised when something crazy happens on the Lighter buys. I think he got a little info there. Alex is going to try and piece together what he's spotted. Some lined up outside smokes might mean there's a bit of a vulnerability lobby. I was just thinking a bit more about this frozen conversation, right? So, so Petter's obviously set in 10 out of those uh, 18 yeah. maps. One, I think, is what we were talking about. Um, that frozen has been their highest performer. I'm curious in the maps lost where he came. Because that right there is, you know, if in the maps one, if he's playing well, that's exactly what, you know, we're after here, him to play well. In the maps lost, if he's, you know, not contributing, he's a bit of a non-issue, that becomes a, a conversation in itself. And this one's been handled, so score will be tied up 7-7. Seven, seven. Final round of play will net a total of uh, 2,400 coming into the bank bounce. So Alex with that kill, that's actually going to be pretty helpful regarding his buy. It's going to be an extra grenade or uh, an extra something for him to purchase. Leading the charge right here, Alex. 16 kills for him, 11 for Jackinho. We've got Brolin on nine, four for Crims and three for Mezzi, who, yeah, has been kept a bit quiet here. How's it looking good here to, to even... Like, this is a great T-Hall. This is their map choice. Yeah. I said when they played EG last night that they were only able to pick up five in total. Up the ladder. Ouchie mama. Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't been able to, like, truly wear my sim socks today for Mezzi. Like, I've had to keep them in the drawer, and that's probably a good thing for everyone involved. <laughs> but uh, we are ready to see who is going to win out the half. One round to determine it. Very close game between Mouse and Fnatic. And I think Mouse bots have been in a very kind of, um, what, what's the word, like transitional period where mm. I just don't know wh where where to put them in the world. Yeah, well, they should be threatening. They should. And yeah. when I read the names, I get excited. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, this is Rops' team. You know, yeah. like, that's how I describe yeah. it. Ah, yes. But uh, yeah, very volatile for the boys of Mouse so far. Let's see if they can finish this one off. As the project from Frozen again cut short. How many opening kills does Alex's CT side net him? Mezzi anti-flash perfect for the first. And this is a very common little walkout. The Alexi B pop flash. Oh, he turns it. Mezzi quick to the trigger. Multiple targets advancing on him. More sprays through. Crims receives another. And falling apart for Mouse Sports here. Trying to get down the vents. A couple of stray bullets. Tag A cause descent. And now he's all alone. Where's that bomb? Lost on the top site. He hears you. Oh, yeah, they, I think they have a pretty good idea where Acor's going to be, and he's going to have to make some sound cues here. So, break in case of emergency. I'd say a one on five is an emergency. Good luck, Acor. One? Probably none. Brolin. Lingering in that off angle. Can do anything sciencey? Yeah. And basic maths is where I, uh, I leave it as well. We stay away from all the theorems. Oh, Mezzi's got a lot more than he bargained for in his little boost on Project. Too aggressive on red, and you can see one expert starting to believe firmly in Mouse Sports. Makes sense with Mirage already converted on Mouse Sports terrain here. This is the Mouse Sports pick, and Rops has been deterred out of ramp. That's an important goosh because it gives them space. And if they want to go to the low site, they will be allowed in. Dexter, however. They're going to clear him, surely. Yeah, I mean, most teams will give it a, a passing glance at the very least. It's just how many can he get? None is the answer, and Rops actually caught out as well, despite swinging open that door upon the smoke. And Acor cleared out as well. Great work from Fnatic here. 
They've left no stone unturned, no corner uncleared. Just frozen to find now, so... Oh, oh my goodness, he got wow. three! Wow! That is some stunning he shooting. Has a kit and he here, actually you know? could do this. You know it's crims to deny. <laughs> Can we see that one again? Put it in slow motion. Put some string music over it because that is poetry in motion. Great Crispy shooting. He's shooting there. Like he just made a 1v5 <laughs> like joke into something quite serious. Like, let's go. Boop. The second is great. The third is out of this bloody world. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Baby. Before he even hits the ground, look da, at this. Da, 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 Mid leap, hello Alex. Oh, lifted. Okay, well they didn't win. No. They made it seem special. Yeah, it went from straight up no one paying attention to at least half of us. Yeah, some people <laughs> turn their eyes in attention. All right, well, Mouse Sports have gone for the four spy now. It's going to be difficult here on the CT side. You either hope they come to you early or hope when they take some control of the map, your gamble is correct. Because if they just do some secret smokes here late and cross on down, you have to, first of all, think if your mouse, well, are they actually going? Second of all, if they are, how many players are we going to dispatch to deal with this? So wall smokes lobbed on out. Diagonal variety. Oh, oh, that's yeah. nice. Messi's had a real nightmare there. Acor pop shot through the smoke straight to the bloody face. Now Messi forced to watch as his team tries to stomach the mouse sports force. Now that there, right, when teams do exactly that smoke wall, one of the reasons Acor's spamming in that kind of tr direction is because you stay close to that wall so you can't get spotted from heaven. You don't want to cr cr uh, cross deep red. Frozen seen enough. And he has help. Yeah, I'm a bit sketched out if I'm Fnatic right now. And the timing of Frozen is in a powerful position, as is Rops. And with 30 seconds, they won't be able to do their due diligence. There'll be corners uncleared. And Frozen, a chance. It's Rops with another bomb now loose. We need Jakino's response. He does put it in the feed. Ramp is a threat. Time is an issue. More frag out of Acor. Can they contest the plant? Oh, yeah, easily. Dexter can deny, and that's the end of the round. His second round force. He just doesn't have the health for this. Too many men. Not enough time. Triple kill out of Acor. He started that. And Mouse Sports finish it. Oof. Yeah, okay. Well, they dealt with that one pretty nicely, didn't they? The fact you get a freebie through the smoke on your little walk through yard. That is a big problem for Fnatic here. And they're going to be investing straight back. They're not going to give up just yet. Without that plant going down means they're not going to be as punishing as they could be, and there it is in the replay. This one was important as well. That allowed Dexter to poke his head out the door, and then an easy one for Acor with the USP to finish things off. So great stuff. That's the impact we're talking about on the scope rifles from Acor. Force by back. Interesting. They have room to work with, right? This smoke. Oh, oh, they're out. Yeah, well, trying to. I, I don't think the MS's knows. Did you not hear that? Nade, like, impacted Grimms. This is the flash that they're... Waiting for it, does force the first, Brolin onto the other. Are they into the sight, courtesy of the Brolin Tech 9? Now, Acor's got to be really careful with that orb. Uh, uh, frozen from heaven, now he should be able to deny the plant. Mezzi's babysitting, so if Mezzi is good for this headshot, ooh, good timing, great fight, and Frozen will take them both down. Wow, what a recovery out of Mouse. It could have got really messy there, but... Solid hold, and it's frozen again, being the differentiating factor for Mao Sports in this head-to-head -head with Fnatic. Well, tied up now. This is uh, looking great for Mao Sports here, right? I, I don't think we'll see another force back from Fnatic. They should have to stomach the eco now that two consecutive rounds are on the board. Uh, and this is Mao Sports' chance to take a lead, similar to what we saw on Mirage, right? It was 9-6 on the half over yeah. there on Mirage, and then they grabbed Pistol, they got the conversion, they had the first gunny, and then from there it all just came up. Mao Sports. And their CT side last night against EG, they just locked them out. They just absolutely locked them out. I think they dropped one round maybe on that CT half. So right now, not looking great for Fnatic fans around the world. Yeah, and their Pro League run so far has been a bit of a... Must be surprising. Yeah, a bumpy run, I'd say, as well for Mouse. I think the loss to FaZe kind of definitely leaves a mark. A loss to Na'Vi, perhaps a little more expected. What's going on here? Why am I seeing Fnatic's name in the feed? Thank you, Beamus. Thank you very much. Whew. A couple of P250s connecting on their execute, but the CTs laugh it off, shrug it off, and AK recovered for Beamus. And we say play on. Guns are back out for Fnatic, and Mouseports will edge over into that 10-9 lead. 
Well, I guess this is important for this T campaign. If Fnatic get blanked here, right? If they just get absolutely shut out of this and they're not able to contribute with too many kills whatsoever, might start spelling the beginning of the end as a timeout to the qualifying. And for example, they can qualify if EG were to beat Na'Vi later today, but otherwise there'll still be a lot of scenarios where they don't go through. So basically, nothing's safe. Nothing's going to be set after this match, guys. Yeah. You're going to have to wait for Na'Vi, EG up next, I and like then uh, Big Phase, the final game of the day. That'll be nice. Yeah, that will actually. Big big Phase. And the uh, Big Clan fresh off of a disruptive win against Na'Vi. So Frozen ahead of the smokes, and he wants info. He wants to confirm uh, if there's anybody home. Brolin is. Rops, however, ready to lock it down and confirms that Brolin was all on his own. The CTs will be prepared for a presence. Ramp and Acor called upon and called into action. He takes one. Going for wall bangs. Careful, Mezzi. You're playing with fire, bro. Ooh. And they will descend into the lower side, but there's two, two here. boys here to receive them. Bemus, ready to swing this door open. And perfect. <laughs> it's a blind spot. Mezzi trades at the very least. Oh, they don't know where they are. Fakes it out. Dexter tries to go for the denial, and it costs him his life through oh, the doors. That That's big from Mezzi. A risk from Dexter. And now this 2v2 really hinges on Rops' rifle. Mezzi plants. Will he be in a safe angle from the Rops hunt? They don't have answers yet. Messi's going to be feeling paranoid about that decon door. Oh, he has so much faith in Jackino. I think Jackino is watching the decon ah. door from dark right now. So he can just focus his attention on both this ramp peak from Acor and Rops edging out. Great shot out of Messi on what's one of his jiggles. Don't forget, jackino has got no armor. He's just going to get shredded if Messi does go down. Survival integral here, Messi. Managing his angles very well. He gets the info for free, Robs. He could finish it right Needs there. It now. A tag. Can't oh. finish the shot. Giacchino, under pressure, hits the crucial shot necessary. Makes it 10. Oof, that one got real tight. Real tight indeed. And maybe not even around Fnatic should have won. Dex just putting bullets through the door. Makes him susceptible. This is it. When BMS swings up the door, it forces Alex's position like back into this tight corner. Bezzy gets the trade off of that. And this here, Dex is just trying to say, hey, get off the plant, right? Just allow my teammates to get... But because he's doing damage with the spam, the door breaks. Bezzy has the AK, gets the kill, delays like a god. And that's a round that Mouse Sports really let sure. slip right there. Yeah, I mean, a great turnaround as well. Mezzi be good just because you, you won't allow Fnatic to build a bank and they're going to be in the same position. But if they just fall flat here and these light investments do nothing, that's going to give Fnatic a bit of a buffer here towards the tail end of this one. Potentially disrupted wall smokes there. Mouse Sports from both Trophy and Hart go looking in lobby and have nothing to report. So an early and preemptive rotate. They're coming through the top side, though. Dexter does well to find the head of Brolin. And Beam is planning a little bit of a surprise up his sleeve and up the vents. Crims, he checked him, spots him. Don't you dare go hunting for that. That's a scary off-limits vents for now. Another dig in the feed. What's going on here? Fnatic with the bomb plant. Crims should have lobby on lock now. They have to worry about vent because of that presence, but they need to clear Crims first. Oh, he's not ready for it. Frozen. The element of surprise is everything. Are they going for this or not? What what, what are Mal's doing right now? They don't know. I think the Bemis Galil's surely being saved. They're just doing damage, but they had a real chance to go for this round. It, it's wild. Like, Rops is now just lingering passively back towards T Lobby. They could have made this real threatening here, so... Maybe called this one off a little bit too early. Fnatic will get their 11th round, and... Doing damage on the uh, on the way out the door is just not enough. The Galil, the best thing they could have carried on through, is gone. And we will see the Mouse Sports gun round coming next round anyway, but it's just a bit odd they didn't go for I it. I felt like they had an advantage. Yeah, certainly some more pressure towards that side. Get Fnatic hot under the collar, but they'll kind of be given that. They'll take the 11th. Bit of pressure on those Deagle buys, but yeah, Fnatic now have to do it in hard mode up against the fully bought up Mouse. Now, Mouse here are lacking a smoke on BMAS. They're lacking a molly on Acor and Rops, well, and Frozen as well. So they're missing some key utility here. If Fnatic did something a little bit faster, maybe they could punish, but looks like more of the same with the smokes towards Yard. The smoke in front of the vent right there. Well, Acor can call that one clear, but he's doing a very dicey maneuver with that AWP. We'll reposition to deal with the secret walk. That's all the ruse. It's just Brolin. It's a fun little project for Brolin to work with. Is 
read of the game will be tested in a role like that. Rops, they're coming. They might boost the AWP, and Rops not going to give anything away. You'll hear this. Rops hears a lot. He suspects trouble. They're looking away. Rops goes one for one. Is that enough? Is that sufficient? As it seems, the lower side is right into Acor's palms. He greets them with a bullet. Alex gone. Brolin's still coming, right? Nice little util dump. And yeah, Brolin's been working on this project. He started his descent. Now Acor's back his turn to that prospect. Acor's dead. Yeah, booked. And now the site becomes Fnatic's. <laughs> I feel like it has to be a save. Mousepots just lost track of what was possible there for a moment. It looked like they had a good understanding, but I guess they they didn't know that Brolin was across. But they no. didn't know either way that Brolin was across. And nobody tended to that. Acor seemed way too glued on the bomb site, unawares completely, just back turned. And they concede that kill. Nobody else had rotated down towards the lower site to give him a hand. At this point, Fnatic get 12. So. Maybe, so in, just maybe, we're going to that third. In Acor's brain, like, when he's got killed Alex, they don't know that there's the, the whole squad is converging on the site. He, he, he only knows that Alex may be making a bit of a gamble maneuver. Might be pushing for some info, I suppose, living in that reality. 12 for Fnatic, and yeah, you, as you discussed, that overpass, which I would start to hedge my bets closer towards Fnatic at that yeah, point. Definitely so. I just think Fnatic's CT side on overpasses has been great. Now, yeah. their T side has shown some, some weakness. But uh, if you're able to just go 13 rounds on your on your CT side, I think, yeah, well, hold, hold up. Maybe we can just keep doing that. Just win the knife, guys. Then we can don't even have to do T side. So they've got three rifles saved. They've got two deagles upgraded. But mouse sports here, they need to piece this one together because at the moment, just not really able to contest. Oh, and Dexter's gone very early this time. At least Acor will be able to get some use out of the M4. But look at this. They're going straight into Frozen's location. That was Jakina with the AWP. And now Frozen for more. The multi-kill attempts. They land the bullets necessary. Acor throwing a couple more bullets. This could cost him his life. Could very well translate into a round for Fnatic if he goes down. He's been allowed to escape. Crims was posted up and confirmed on lobby. So a bit of a role reversal here. They might even fully swap roles if Crims does fall. You almost want them to go lower towards Rops right now. Oh, okay. Maybe that's exactly what they'll do. So lobby control now has been netted by Maus, and I, I guess just with this limited info they have right now, they'll call it clear. The biggest issue becomes is if they wrap around to heaven. It might be a uh, collision course for Bemis Acor versus all of that of Fnatic. Oh, and that's exactly where they're heading here. So I, I don't think Maus will be in position to defend both heaven and hell. Yeah, and they're mantling up silently. Acor's clear. Didn't get the full well, look. We might catch he a couple might, here, though. Might, yeah. It's a good angle for it. Very good angle for it. And Mezzi, Alex, both looking the wrong way. Acor, huge impact on the recovered M4. Finally, they end him. And maybe the round not safe after all. Rops was on the low site. He's managed to get himself at least towards the heaven position. The Molotov should, needs to be good. Is it good? Yeah. Just. Just about. That Bemis Molotov may have just saved their skins. That could have got really uncomfortable otherwise. But Rops now slinking up and an AK for good measure. One tap is all it takes. They do get the info though, and he doesn't have a kit. So it would just be his raw aim that would be the differentiating factor. Good luck, have fun. No info for him, and he might just want to hold on. He would need to start pushing the issue now, right? Look how worried he is about all these different angles. So the fact that they're not giving him anything, bombs over halfway tick now. It's not going to happen, is it, Rops? And I think he knows it. So it's like a half dish attempt at the clutch. You know, I was like, well, if they give me something, I'll go for it. Otherwise, I'm out of here. Oh, and that's 13. Um, yeah, and a different universe as well. After Acor's her heroics, if Bemus is good for one on that heaven flank, it's a very uncomfortable round. Yeah, that, it's just there. I, I think, you know, Acor's got the two kills and not expecting a third. So three players jumped up here, right? You see him get the first two. It's that third man who, who just completely unravels this one. Uh, Brolin late to the party and spoils it too. Yeah, uh, it, you think it's clear at that point, right? And, and that one is the tightest of margin. So almost sort of. No, I thought it was just like I, a quake bind. Oh, it, the, no, it is quake days, right? He sat down at his dad's PC and just used his dad's controls, from my understanding. And his dad was an old gamer head. 
ahead of the curve. You know, a CRT boy. Oh, here we go. I like the boost. The smoke, unfortunately, has completely... Oh, has it completely? Oh, Crims. He gave exactly what they were waiting for. I don't know if Crims saw anything. No, he was no, just no, prepared no. for the boost. Just, I think, he, a couple of bullets he was throwing down range was enough for Acor to have confidence in the shot. Oh, block that smoke. Oh, he didn't get the punish. The problem was already across. Loving this secret control he's got right now. Later return to lobby is always super uncomfortable for a T side. You have no idea where they could be pushed up to. Gonna have to molly Beamers here, that's smoke. Yeah, okay, so as it starts to fade, Beamers gets out of dodge successfully, but pressure now as they're working on this top site. Mollies are in, smokes, flashes follow. Oh, perfect from Acor. He's actually confirmed that the bomb is on its way down. They won't be able to chase him necessarily, and there is space for a plant. Alex looking to catch any of this chaotic rotate. If Mal's start to over-rotate with a bit too much pace, there could be a way where Fnatic can destabilize and make a 3v5 convincing. Nobody rotated lower. Nobody started to get a look in there, even though they knew that one had slipped on down, and now they're getting a move on. Fnatic actually are in a decent spot to win this. Yeah, and Alex's flank. It could be time to perfection here. Giacchino, lots to do. Oh! Okay. Oh, my lordy lord. I'm not going to say anything. It was unlikely that they were going to win a three on five, but there was a moment in time where I was thinking there was a chance. So, someone defuse. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you got the orb. That's fine. Just get him on the board right now, Mouse, because yeah, you may be a little bit luckier than you should be. That they rotate there. This was the fragger, who was it, Giacchino. That's what I was waiting for. So Giacchino, when we cut to Giacchino's POV with like three descending towards him and Alex being on a dank flank for the last one down the vents, there was a universe where that 3v5 takes shape. But yeah, well recovered. Mousewats needed that. That's compulsory for sure. And so is the following. All the AKs are out though. Let's see how Fnatic choose to ply their trade here in round 25. Okay, looks like they're getting the smokes out early here. Molly is going to help make sure their smoke wall isn't disrupted. Acor through the flames, through the fire. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa! And who goes for a quickie? Pulls down Brolin. And they're trying to trade. They will catch him with some bullets. I thought there was a stray. Yeah, Frozen was behind him. He's pay he spent so long, though, he could still catch them well, we completely might get spotted off in the guard. Back here, Frozen, not looking the right way. Has he called it clear? There's no idea. They've got a wild timing here. What? So they're, they are surprising to Dexter, but Frozen could be surprising to Fnatic. Oh. They've completely swapped roles. Yeah, so Frozen's lobby presence does nothing, nothing. And, and the bomb is with them towards heaven. This has to come down to the top defense, which is just one man. And Beamus is still worried about the hot push. Well, lobby's clear, mate. They're in top. You've just been mollied from heaven. You're locked in hut. <laughs> what do I do? He could deny this. Oh, oh, dear. Full, full smoked off. He's got nothing to say or do about this. What's that? I can smell it. Overpass? It's seeming very likely right now, isn't it? Mouse spots seem lost in these CT side rotations. The info they do have is being used against them here. Rops dropped lower that, that rounds, which gave them ramp access. They all just swarmed on heaven. So it feels like the rotations here of mouse sports are really, really troubling them. And well, yeah, look, the loss bonus is in a position for a mouse buy. I don't know what the mix-up could be. Acor got you one for free there. Uh, he did go down, but I found some early impact. You felt frozen if he was just looking the right way. Could have had a kill or two and identified where that bomb was. I think also, because because we were in Acor's POV, he didn't get any more info. Let's see, see it from here. So like he gets spots one more, and then, actually, and then he's straight into the smoke. Yeah. So Frozen just doesn't know what he's working with, what he's operating with. He definitely didn't spot the bomb, and that did result in the death of Dexter. So 14 is found for Fnatic. Solid T project for them here. It was a very even half, eight to seven, but it seems that at this point in time, Fnatic's T side is exploiting the gaps in the defense. Frozen's trying again on his own this time and probably more proactive this time. Fully flashed, Alex goes down. Roland can't trade, Frozen with double impact. And that should put Fnatic into a bit of a tailspin. That's the two heavy hitters for Fnatic in this map. 23 kills for Alex and 20 for Brolin. Both individuals eliminated early here, so Frozen has done a massive job with the assist of those flashes. Yeah, and these rounds can just completely just fall apart. 
like if you're Fnatic, you want to stay together, you want to trade evenly, you're hoping for some CT aggression. I imagine Mouse in the current state of affairs for them, they can't really afford to. They're just going to let the frags come to them. Who's going to have first contact here? It looks like Dexter is our, our observer's choice, and rightfully so. Chikino not looking the right way, and a trade from Mezzi is just too far away as well. Good hold, lock down, and convert off of the double. Nicely done by Frozen. Oof, okay, money now for Fnatic is a conversation here. Maybe a timeout from them just to talk about what type of buy they want to have going forward. They have been looking great on this T half, but their loss bonus at the moment is very, very low. Into the next round, 1900. So if they take a conservative one here with just some Deagles or P250s, they can buy next round. But they should be conceding a 13th round to Mouse Sports here. And you can see reflected in the buy. It's exactly what we're looking at. They didn't need to take the time out. The finance is in a bit more of an obvious situation than one that requires a 30-second chat. But this is all about getting as much as you can out of these small investments. The Deagles have been noted now, so Mouse will have a much better understanding of what they're playing against. This little lurky boy, Smoke, they give them some control here. Mezzi. Oh. Uh, he peels around it. That's just one of the Smoke gimmicks, right? In these type of rounds, you have to go for a little maneuver like that. They're going to sprint towards ramp. It's time for some stat padding. Oh, might get out of control here. I mean, you take two. You certainly have an opportunity now as Brolin, the Swedish star, has an AK-47 within his grasp, and he's got six bullets. He would have to reload in front of his adversaries, and they'll have heard that. And they're going to clear him together, working on it as a unit. Frozen and Dexter still just slowly tapping and touching their keyboards. They haven't confirmed and called it clear, but they've got him locked in. And yes, no so armor. Fine. Yeah, if Bemis doesn't hit the first bullet, there's no aim punch. Brolin could be the snappy boy. He, we all know he can be. Oh, oh, give it a chance. <laughs> give it a chance there. A couple of warning shots from Bemis before he finishes him off. But they kept it kind of costly, right? Two is better than none. I think that's the saying. I think that's how it goes. That's, yeah. that's definitely how it goes. Secondary Rops Orp here. Okay. So two big greens out to play for Mouse Sports. And well, they're only one round behind here. An, an interesting one. It's just that Crimson's purchase of Kevlar on that Deagle Eco has resulted in a Galil instead of an AK. Maybe he didn't do accounting. Didn't crunch his numbers, didn't get the Abacus out no. prior to that one. Doesn't have his degree like Dexter. <laughs> yeah. Doing it as a single father as well. Yeah, it was hard. Can't believe he got through uni like that. Yeah, it's incredible, really. What a story. And a professional Counter-Strike player on the side. Just on the side. Who Just a side thought? hustle, you know? Traveling overseas. Leaving the kid Leaving on his own. Leaving the kid on his own. That's, that's honestly what the message said. It's like, <laughs> it was really impressive that he managed to uh, travel overseas considering his fatherhood. <laughs> it's like, thanks, man. Thank you, Jonas. I appreciate that. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. No. Couldn't believe it. What he a call. He obviously doesn't watch HLTV confirmed once a week, every... But it changes every it changes. Day. It changes, it changes all the time. Changes. Updates available on SPUNJ's Twitter. Slow stuff here from Fnatic. Don't want to risk any of those frozen pushes towards Yard early. So the crawl is reflected by the smoke wall here. L blocks as Alex and Brolin are getting flashed and stalled on out a little bit they here. Are quite shallow. Like I think Aiko would have had a sight line and Frozen's worked a lovely gap there. Brolin trying to crawl it back. Oh. It's fading. A chance here and just about across the line. Now with double orbs, if the bomb goes down, I start to favor Fnatic, Chad, in a very big way. Oh dear, low no sight. No kit, really. Only Dex has got one. I correct oh, myself. Oh, that's a huge miss. And he's missed a real sitter there. Brolin's already on a very, very round the world flank. He knows Acor's working ramp. You can see he's acknowledged that from the sound cue. May as well check the vent rotate. He does have a passing glance. It's Dexter in lobby, though, holding on to what he can. I don't want to be the guy to say it here, but Dexter has to save. Acor's down. There's not enough money for Dexter to risk going for this right here, right now. That, that is frag. just... that The ROPs miss, right? Like, he, wow. It could have been a, a 3v2 the other way, and then it's a much more manageable retake. Brolin's already low on HP. He's disconnected from the bomb in the lower site. Just that pivot down the vent and those rotations again. How much does Frozen have to do for Mouse? Like every, on these CT rounds, if it's not two out of Frozen, call it a fanatic round. Maybe that's it. Maybe he needs two around. Maybe right now, with the way some of these scores are reading here, his contribution may be worth a bit more than others. So this was great. Like he's found the gap in the smoke wall. 
It looked like it was just really good, but the avenue, yeah, just not getting oh, it and done. And he dies on the way back. Spawn. Oh, and that's a very passive line from Jack Inyo, right? So they're ready for a potential aggressive maneuver. But this looks more like a slower round out of the Swinglish side. Oh, Rob's really dicing with it here. Smoke's faded now. Can't go for another maneuver like that. Doesn't even do that much damage. Just going back to spawn now to set up the smoke walls. Alex has decided now's the moment. There's already one up going to be a very weird and distorted pacing to that. I assume it would just be replaced. And they sail through the sky. Two more to follow, about to bloom. Frozen called upon, as is Acor as the yard defense, and nothing to report just yet. Acor realizing he can't contribute from his current position. Frozen just sits there, eats the flash. Oh, fading. Just as it fades, they do get across at least one. And Acor good for the peak onto Alex. They are descending into that lower side. Mouseports have had their issues here. It was Rops. He's got Bemis in support as well. Oh, and a very snappy Huge. one out of the M4. Yeah, he will get... Coy, I wouldn't dare go up those vents. They're considering it. Dexter would laugh at the opportunity. 25 as well. God, this is weird now. Very uncomfortable for them. Jakina's not going to be looking the right way. Frozen they connects that one. And now vent to top. Dexter will take them both. And we will need the final round to determine it all. And Fnatic, it's far from dreamy. Oh, dearie me. OT, OT. Definitely not out of the realms of possibility. And that's a product of Mouseport's conversion there. Looking good. Yeah, look, in the last six rounds of play, Mouseport's managed four of those. And just the back and forth nature of the economy for both these teams late. The lack of plant here puts down to your level of weaponry here. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get good bang for your buck with a T-side D if Mouseports uh, are diligent. Death. Looks like a top explode. Yeah, but that's what the flash implies. Dexter will keep that door smoked. Grims, the first to fall. That was one of the Galils, a big crack to find. Only one clawed back for Fnatic. They just crash into the defense. The angle's too strong. Aggressive from Bemis and Jakina being flanked as well. Call it OT, Mouseports and 15. We're forced to separate them in an overtime. We appreciate your patience. Let's get ourselves back underway. And Acor with a nice once a, once a half maneuver. Yeah, once an overtime. Once an overtime, it could be perfect. Yeah, he's got the overwatch. and. The progress hasn't really been halted. They've still used that wall of smokes. Giacchino's a little late, though, and that could be the end of oh, him. Oh, he didn't stick to his guns. Oh, and they've just decided to cancel. And Alex gets caught. This is weird. Yeah, OK, right there. I'm not sure why the stall out called, right? But Alex has clearly made that one. And on their way back, with him going down in transition, this first round of OT here could just fall flat for Fnatic. They will need a hero. And pivoting all around, looking a little bit uncertain in where they want to finish. Still plenty of nades with, for this, but they don't have a smoke for main. So if they pop on out squeaky, we'll need some flashes. And it looks like Mezzi is going to be the man setting that up. Molly in his hand. That'll be landing towards top heart. Okay, well, that'll get Dexter hot and bothered. And the spray from Beamer's good for one. Dexter's still burning. Dexter's burnt down to 10. He's finished off nicely. Oh, uh, wow. A double from Giacchino. And Fnatic have recovered this. He plays the sound cues. He is being... He's not looking. He's actually not looking. They could crawl down that ladder and shoot him in the face instead. He's got the bomb on his back, so if he goes back up with the bomb, oh no, oh no, Fnatic lose the round to Frozen Messi with it all to do and 20 seconds to do it. The bomb now lost and a change of direction that could have cost them it all. Well, it's worked for them, right? We've seen it work for them, but that's twice now that they've tried it since it's worked for them that they've been absolutely destroyed. Dex has stopped them, and, and now Frozen has done the same. So one of those little mid-round tricks that Fnatic are hoping to use here to aid them and keep Mouseports chasing their tail is gone, right? This little vent drop and then vent pop back up or vice versa. It looks like they've locked it on down, and you just see that coming up. That's Frozen, you're licking your lips. You know you've got at least one kill there. The second... Fantastic as well, the inaccuracy off the ladder, and he's doing his job. That is a big notebook he's got on the desk as well. Chock or block, I'm sure, full of strategy, headshotting and such. There's a one-way smoke being deployed here for Acor, so it's a bait and switch with him and Frozen, and Frozen's just been an absolute nuisance for Fnatic here. So 
As the smoke starts to fade, Acor repositions. Might be able to grab one if they're not tidy here, and there it is. Boom, boom. Acor is trapped, eliminated, but maybe, just maybe, they're not ready for Frozen. He keeps the fight coming. An uh, important frag for Alex to find. He keeps the round alive, at least. And he's only got one smoke to throw out. I don't know how much convincing he's going to be able to do here. Well, who's going to keep their eyes on this cross, right? It's important for somebody ah. from our sports to be covering it off here. And Alex just lining up on Multiple. the fly. Yeah, he's just picking up his teammate's smokes, using them to provide the wall he demanded. Hey, what? that's not bad. The one on the right is going to fade quite quickly here. So uh, Dexter can hang around. This should be gone very soon. It is on Bemis towards the top side, and he's kind of playing retake from main. So th they're not fully invested to holding A. If they go towards B, Rops is there. He hasn't moved in a while, just tucked in towards that back box. So at the moment, it feels like Mouseworts are giving a lot of space over towards this Fnatic side. Yeah. Bemis, wow, good connection onto Crims on the walk-up. And Dexter, another contribution. Mouseworts, this is a spotless defense. And this round, no exception with 10 oh, HP, doesn't stand a chance. And call it 17. One more round for the defensive mouse. Let's see if they can keep a clean sheet. Oof. You know, this is where Fnatic will have to do something different, right? The first time round, they tried to get Alex across secret. They called it off for whatever reason. They fell back and if anything, will force him to continue forward. Well, maybe that will. Yeah, the loss of Acor will spur Rob through his own smoke and perhaps behind enemy lines. They're very, very detached from lobby here. Is there no one responsible? Is that what Crims is off on his way to be responsible for? Yeah. He's lining up a molly right now. I think that's going to be for back of sight. So it looks like this is their top peel in, right? They like to peel in through this smoke close main. Maybe that will stall them out. A deeper CT smoke. If they go for warehouse control, time will start to become an issue here. Oh, Alex didn't spot the leg. Dexter was walking through and there's both of them here. Frozen. Keeps them busy enough for Dexter to get the fraggy bells. Frozen out of trouble, but still a 3v3 and they're descending ramp. Bemis will be there in time. It's up to Jakino if he's responsible for decon. That will be her fight that favors the AWP. Opens the door. Hard shot. Crims. Lots of oh, oh, no, no, no. Jakino's taken down Grims. How's the he done that? Loose. He's got to come up clutch. A 1v2, otherwise it's spotless from Mouse. Bomb picked up. He wants to close the doors, do some housekeeping. Ops for the AK-47, still one close. Fakes it out, ramp jiggle, and a near hard tap to hit. Multiple targets, Bemis collects, and Mouse Sports call it 18. We need a perfect response out of Fnatic, and that's just Oof. to extend play. Mouse Sports have put themselves in a prime position to collect the 2-0. Here we go. Oh, Bam. dear. I think he's just thought he's had a slither there to take that shot. <laughs> and that, oh, that one is going to sting here. So, uh, when given the opportunity, they'll take the more expensive option. The propaganda from Brolin has finally started to spread. Okay, well, they're playing this one reserved here, Mouse. They didn't just launch topside. They didn't try and get anybody down the vent. They're just waiting for any maneuvers from Fnatic, who are the desperate ones in this scenario. If they overpeak, if they overstep the mark, Mouse are ready to take them down as they line up these smokes towards Yard, sailing through the sky. They'll have to deal with Brolin over towards Secret here. Alex is going to be completely smoked off. All he can do is chip on through. Missed Molly. Oh, and big problems. Yeah, that missed Molly has cost him the life. The opening frag, of course, it's frozen of all the players to find. So a step towards extending play. They need three in a row here, Fnatic, and this is the first frag of the first round on that CT side. Crims intermittently checking in on that main fight, and they are starting to come through. That's a perfect incendiary. That will force him forward. Or the Extinguish. They're going in. Mezzi needs this frag, needs it. Rob's Bates with the barrel so well. Still recovers it, and Fnatic will call it a quit. So that's a perfect round. No one goes down. Make it 16, two more to go. You can just see how punishing a missed molly is, right? The missed molly to secret there is the difference between Brolin getting the opening kill and Brolin not having an opportunity to get this opening kill. Those flames work in his favor. He can peek over that, use that mistake made by Mouse Sports against them here. Now, if you're Mouse, you've got two more rounds to have a crack. The first one, they went slow. The second, if they go slow again and they get found out, well, it's pretty obvious in the third that they might go for something a little bit faster. Fnatic in overtimes, man. Like they, They've been loving it. They can't stop having close games. Not bad for a month, for sure. 
It's only a year ago they were lifting trophies at Pro League. Here he is again. Roland, prime position. He nearly had more than one acorn chunk down. Alex looking for something rather ambitious here. Yeah, he loves it. It's a little bit of him. It's a little bit of him. Calls the cancel on that. That Dexter's aware that it's a possibility. That fast flank from the warehouse hasn't come through. But in the meantime, he's moved some of his pieces around the board. They have enough utility to take this lower site, right? And they're being diligent with these boost clears. We've seen that pay off in previous games here throughout the Pro League. Now, if they go towards the decon door, this is one of those scenarios where you limp out the smoke and get the back site control. Vents cold clear. They just have to deal with Jackinho and the orb, maybe not the best weapon for the job up there. Yeah, it does look uncomfortable, doesn't it? Messi's got a good smoke for the decon door. Jackinho, you're kind of committed now. So some quick orbs are going to have to come out of him. These late takes have worked for Mouse in the past. Four frags separating them from the 2-0 conversion here. Mouse Sports. 28. Smoke from Acor plants the plan. It's not going to be easy for Giacchino to, to stop that, really. Maybe his teammates can. Mezzi certainly a threat. Commits to the spray. Mezzi, however, going down. That's the denial. Oh, no, he misses the shot into the board. Some Fnatic's chances starting to fall away from them. Oh, yo, yo. Alex and Crims then, all of it on their shoulders. And powerful after plant positions adopted. Dex are going to go looking for info. It's Alex, his next victim, and it's all on to Crims. I think Mouse Sports have done enough here. There's just not many chances left for Crims. Rop's not going to give him anything. Oof, other than a bullet between the arms.